Now to a K8 News exclusive. A young woman who claims to have been the victim of sexual assault at a church youth group is sharing her story just days after her accused abuser is arrested. It was a, a hundred pounds lifted off of my shoulders. It was like I could breathe. Our Alejandra Hernandez joins us live in the studio. Alejandra, you listened to an interview with her. What is she saying? And obviously this is a sensitive story. Yes, Chris, yes it is. Now, Jamie Flannery was arrested earlier this month. He is facing a charge of first degree sexual assault. The woman accusing him of the abuse is sharing her story tonight in hopes of helping others. I stood up for myself. I had to. A survivor breaks her silence. When it happened to me when I was 15, all those emotions and all those thoughts just trapped in my mind and I just could not handle it anymore. Court documents say Caitlin Kenner was just a minor when Jamie Flannery started sexually abusing her. Investigators wrote in probable cause documents, it started by him asking for sexually explicit photos before leading him to touching her at his home and in a church parking lot. Years would pass before Kenner could no longer hold on to the secret. When she confided in a member of her own church, she heard the four words she was not expecting. She said, um, I don't believe you. That's when I shut down and I kept it to myself for six years. Several more years would pass before Kenner would tell her own mother about the abuse. Her relationship with God was also affected. For me personally, it did take a toll on my Christianity. Of course it did. And so, I mean, I'm... I have a great relationship with the Lord now, better than ever. And now she has a daughter. One of the reasons she came forward. Just looking at her every day, I wanted to be strong for her. So I can tell her later on down the road, mom did this. After 10 years, Kenner came forward and Flannery was arrested. He is facing a felony charge of first degree sexual assault. For Kenner, finding the right words was difficult. I did the right thing. I was scared to do it. I went into the um, law enforcement office shaking, trembling, thinking that nothing would be done, and here we are today. As Kenner moves forward, she has a message to other victims scared to speak up. Things will get better. That's what I would tell my 15-year-old self. Things will get better, and you will survive this. You will survive this. During questioning, a Randolph County pastor, Gary Moore, told investigators that Flannery said he didn't do anything to the victim she did not ask for or that she was not okay with. And Chris, we left a message with a Flannery for comment, but we did not hear back from him. All right, a sensitive story tonight. Thank you, Alejandra. And Kenner said one of the reasons she shared her story is because she wants to become an advocate for sexual abuse victims. And we have more information on the allegations and what the investigator said happened to the victim online. You can read the story right now on the K8 News app.